stop the game right on time. <laughs> Look oh, at this guy. Grab it out of the box. Now we can follow this guy and see where he goes. Oof. Little punt. So he hits that rail. Ugh, that pipe. Poor pipe. Where does this guy go? Into the mist. Okay, we teleport and go back to the character. And here we are. Here's the gate we cannot open because we got chased away by Hoogie Woogie. Here's the blue hand, and goes the red hand. Ooh. Okay, let's see what's behind this gate. Ugh, you little creep master. Hi. <laughs> Look at this guy. You little ugly blue little psychopath. I do not like the way you look at me, son of Jim. Is this guy just literally stuck here forever? I don't know. I don't want to find out. But anyway, as far as we know, this guy is supposed to come from all kinds of areas, so might as well see what happens here. Ooh, hello. Oh, you're hiding here, aren't you? We found you. Bushki, this guy is frozen. <laughs> Look at this little dude. The way his head twitches. All right, I wonder if we can teleport inside of this room. Oh, frick! Ah, uh, I think I got dead. Well, that's funny. Yep, we're dead. I think I teleported inside of that guy. Ugh, okay. So I cannot teleport inside of the vents, which is a problem because... I guess I just fall through the floor, but... I guess we got to see what this guy is all about. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. No, freak, I got stuck! Uh. Alright, I suppose we just run and try not to die. That'd be excellent. No, freak. Here we go! Woo! Uh, this way! Jeez, this place is confusing as all, freak. Oh, freak! <laughs> this guy's so close! I don't know if we're completely safe yet, though. Suppose we can check this place out. Oh, where'd it go? This way? Oh, oh, this guy's waiting for us in here. Little creep. All right, let's go this way then. Hello, you little punk. Don't stop. There we go. Okay, I suppose we can see what this guy's doing behind the door. Oh, what? Where is he? Is this guy gonna get through if we don't do anything? Probably, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're dead. Okay, great. All right. Well, that was fun. Oh, no. We're back here. There we go. All right. Let's get that box down. Thank you. There we go. And we stopped the game right on time. <laughs> Look at this guy. Grab it out of the box. Now we can follow this guy and see where he goes. Oof. Little punt. So he hits that rail. Ugh, that pipe. Poor pipe. Where does this guy go? Into the mist. Ooh. And outside of map. Keeps on falling still. Ah, right, there we go. He stopped. Ugh, okay. Well, that was fun. So, there's still a lot of places to check out in this area because we see a lot of ways to cross in this area, such as this conveyor. There's a door as well. Oh, there we go. We can walk in it. I don't know why the teleport doesn't work. Hello. We cannot open it, but we can still take a peek inside. And there's nothing. There is a lot of conveyors twisting and turning. And I don't know if we can stand on everything, though. But I'm curious to see what's up in the ceiling. Oof. A lot of fog, or mist, and a lot of conveyors. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything behind any of these doors. It doesn't seem like it. It seems like we can walk on most of the stuff, but we're not going to find anything of use. Oh. Well, that's odd. Oh, nope, it didn't work just time. <laughs> okay. So what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. It's all loaded, so we might as well check and see how little Poppy's doing. There she is. Sleeping inside of the case. Hmm. As soon as we open that door, the chapter ends, but I want to know if there's anything else we can do. I mean, naturally, I think we can get rid of the door, which would probably lock us in forever, but we can try that anyway, because I'm kind of curious to see what happens. There you go. Poppy? I did destroy the door, so now we cannot escape, but and take a closer peek at her. Alright, now she is floating, which is great. Hey, Pops! Wake up! Now we can do nothing with this doll. And I think if we reload, we literally start at the toy making machine. Right? I cannot quite remember. 
Oh, yeah. Creature Earth is here, so we forgot to check out the door behind the wardrobe. I relaunched the game so we can do that now. And here it is. It's locked. And why is it blocked? It's the main question. There's nothing this way, though. I don't think so. Although it seems like a secret kind of passage. Anyway, we cannot open it, so let us hack behind it and see what's going on. Here we go. Oh, it's just a white door on the other side. And this thing? Ooh. Ooh, there is something here. Hold up. Here we go. Um, we cannot interact with it, but we can walk in this little area. Ooh, what is this? Is that like a shadow of someone? Dang, this place is weird. I do not like that. Anyway, that's it, seems like. There's one last thing we can try with Poppy, and that is stopping the game as soon as she opens her eyes and taking a peek at what that looks like. Hey, Pops! Okay, so let's open the door and then take a look. A blinking. There she is. Ooh, look at those eyes. As I said, nobody knows if she's evil or not. Because the only guy that tried to kill us so far was the Hoogie Woogie, so... I mean, who knows what her intentions are. Maybe she wants to become a human or something. Which could lead a lot of problems, but... Other than that, that's all we have. If we look outside the room, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's just a skybox. But that being said, there's nothing else we can do with her. So... Oh, yeah. We can't look inside of her head, but... That's pretty much it. Ah, yeah, that's not a site we want to be looking at for long. So we're going to finish the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, give it a like, subscribe. Let me know what else I can hack into. But for now, I'll call it that.